everyone, it's me Erica, and today I have my bookshelf tour, but I wanted to make this bookshelf tour a little bit more special because I want to dedicate it to all my new subscribers. Over the past week, I just reached 300, and I think I have around 330 subscribers right now, and I just want to thank you guys so much for taking time out of your day to subscribe, comment, and just watch my videos. It means so much to me, so thank you again, and let's just get right into it. Okay, so this is kind of an overview of where my books are in my room. I sit in front of my bookshelf when I film my videos. And then I have like a kind of a window seat here that also holds two rows of books. So yes, I will be starting with the window seat first. This is kind of an overview of my window seat, the first row. And so we're gonna start with the first square right here. So first we have the box set of Percy Jackson and the Olympians. We have The Book Thief, The Sea of Monsters, The Titan's Curse, The Battle of the Labyrinth, and The Last Olympian, all by Rick Riordan. Next to that we have the first three in the Body Finder series by Kimberly Durding. The Body Finder, Desires of the Dead, and the last echo. Over here we have the Hunger Games trilogy, Hunger Games, Catching Fire, and Mocking Jay by Susan Collins. Underneath the Percy Jackson and the Olympians and the Body Finder series, we have the Perfect Chemistry companion series. We have Perfect Chemistry. Rules of Attraction, and Chain Reaction by Simone Alcalaz. Behind that first row of books, I have the Twilight series by Stephanie Meyer, and I'm not going to go through the covers because I hope we all know what they look like. But we have Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, and Breaking Dawn. Then I have the director's edition of Twilight, and then I have all the movies Twilight, New Moon, Eclipse, Breaking Dawn Part 1, and Breaking Dawn Part 2. Over to the next cube, we have the Iron Fae series by Julie Kagawa, starting with the Iron King, the Iron Daughter, the Iron Queen, and the Iron Knight. And then I just have a little bookend orca. And then over here I have the Selection and the Elite by Kira Cass. Underneath the Iron Face series, we have The Immortal Rules, also by Julie Kagawa. Behind that first row, we have my collection of Sarah Dessen. On the top, we have Along for the Ride, Lock and Key, Just Listen, The Truth About Forever, This Lullaby, Dreamland, Keeping the Moon, Someone Like You, That Summer, and What Happens to Goodbye. And in the last cube, we have Graceling by Kristen Kishore, and The Companion Fire by Kristen Kishore. Next to that, we have The Darkest Powers Trilogy by Kelly Armstrong, starting with The Summoning, The Reckoning, and The Awakening. And then we have the box set of the first three in the Caster Chronicles, I think that's what they're called. First we have Beautiful Creatures, Beautiful Darkness, and Beautiful Chaos, all by Cami Garcia and Margaret Stoll. Behind that we have the Wolves of Mercy Fall series by Maggie Steve Otter, starting with Shiver, Linger, and Forever. We have the Ugly series by Scott Westerfield. And I know this is backwards, but <laughs> extras, specials, pretties, and uglies. And next to that, we have, we have Aurelia by Annie Osterland. Then underneath that, we have the first two in the Summer Trilogy. I know this is also backwards. Um, it's not Summer Without You. And The Summer I Turn Pretty is the first one, both by Jenny Han. 
And that completes my window seat. This is an overview of my bookshelf. There's no really particular order, it's just pretty much what looks good. And then I have my rainbow spines on the top. So we're just gonna kinda do those first. Sorry if any of this is shaky. I don't have a tripod, so I am just using my hands to hold my camera. So sorry if it bothers you. So this is the overview of kind of my rainbow spines. I realize some of these like pink aren't really in the rainbow and then I have no purple but it's rainbow-esque. So starting in the red we have Paper Towns by John Green. Almost Perfect by Brian Ketcher. A Kiss in Time by Alex Flynn. I'm Not Her by Janet Girdle. Little Bee by Chris Cleave, Where I Belong by Gwyneth Hazley, Pure by Tara Ellen McVoy, The Sky is Everywhere by Judy Nelson, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn by Mark Twain, Winter Girls by Lori Hulse Anderson, Bittersweet by Sarah Ockler, the Six Rules of Maybe by Deb Caletti. Wake by Amanda Hawking. And last but not least, The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Moving down a shelf, over here in this corner, I kind of have all my black spines and then kind of the ones with the red also in it I kind of kept together. So up top here, we have The Dark Divine by Bree Despin. Then we have Bewitched, Cloaked, and Beastly by Alex Flynn. Under that we have Looking for Alaska by John Green. And then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Unwind by Neil Shusterman. Reboot by Amy Tintera. The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer by Michelle Hotkin. And last, The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. Next to all that, we have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. A bind up of Kissed by an Angel stories, Kissed by an Angel, The Power of Love, and Soulmate by Elizabeth Chandler. Next to that, we have The Age of Miracles by Karen Thompson Walker. Then we have Nevermore by Kelly Craig, Nightshade, and Wolfsbane by Andrea Kremer, Pride and Prejudice by Jane Austen, The Darkest Minds, and Never Fade by Alexander Brackett. Over here on top we have Shatter Me. And Unravel Me by Tahara Mafi. Underneath that, we have Obsidian, which I am currently reading. And Onyx by Jennifer L. Armentrout. Then we have Shadow and Bone by Lee Bardugo. And last, we have Hush Hush, Crescendo, and Silence, all by Becca Fitzpatrick. Underneath that, starting in the corner, is Night by Ellie Wiesel, The Splendor Falls by Rosemary Clement Moore, Gone by Michael Grant, Hex Hall by Rachel Hawkins, Born at Midnight by C.C. Hunter, World After by Susan E. I also have Angel Fall, but I don't have it on my bookshelf right now. Then Divergent, Insurgent, and Allegiant, all by Veronica Roth. Then we kind of have this stack right here, which consists of spines that have red or orange in it. So up top of here, we have Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salander. Next we have... In Insignia by S.J. Kincaid. Sisters Red by Jackson Pierce. 
I am number four, The Lost Files by Pitticus Lore. And I realize this is backwards also. The Fall of Five. The Rise of Nine. The Power of Six. And I am number four by Pitticus Lore. Again, those are all backwards. Next to that, we kind of have my contemporary section, starting with The Duff by Cody Keplinger. My Life Next Door by Huntley Fitzpatrick. Amy and Roger's Epic Detour by Morgan Madsen. Anna and the French Kiss. And Lola and the Boy Next Door by Stephanie Perkins. Eleanor and Park. And Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. This is probably a lot more steadier because I have books piled on top of each other because in order to film this, I would have to lay down. So over here we just have this kind of bookend that I got from Victoria's Secrets from Getting Something. Over in the corner here I have the Mortal Instruments movie, City of Bones. Next to that I have Vampire Academy and Bloodlines by Rochelle Mead. Next to that I have Clockwork Angel, City of Bones, City of Ashes, City of Glass, and City of Fallen Angels, all by Cassandra Clare. Next to that, we have Delirium by Lauren Oliver, The Across the Universe series by Beth Revis, Across the Universe, A Million Suns, and Shades of Earth. Then over here, we have The Maze Runner by James Dashner. Then over here, we have this kind of stack that has navy blue, turquoise, kind of spines, and there are some exceptions here. But anyways, on the top, we have Before I Fall by Lauren Oliver. Shine by Lauren Miracle. The Lonely Hearts Club by Elizabeth Elberg. Take Me There by Carolee Dean. 20 Boy Summer by Sarah Ockler. Winter Longing by Tracy Mills, Under the Never Sky, and Through the Ever Night by Veronica Rossi, Fathomless by Jackson Pierce, and last but not least, These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. Okay, and that completes my big main bookshelf. Okay, everyone, that was my bookshelf tour. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you again to all my new subscribers. The next video I will be doing is I'm going to show you guys all the books on my bookshelf that I still have yet to read, and that's a lot. So I will see you in my next video. Bye!